Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome to the KSP Motivation Channel. It's your boy again, KSP. And if you're new here, my name is Kendi. I'm currently a six figure Amazon seller. And right now on this channel, I'm just, you know, helping you guys become better sellers as I'm learning and growing. So if you want to learn a few things, sub to the channel and join the family and stick for the ride. So, all right, let's get straight into this video. Today's video, we're going to be sourcing. I got a comment the other day from Ruben 1703. Shout out to you. Thanks for watching the content. Appreciate it. And um, thanks for your suggestion. You suggested that I do another live video on sourcing since those help. Here we go. Today's focus, we're going to be focusing on backpack and I'm going to try to get this up as fast as possible. This video, hopefully it helps you. And if it does, please give me a thumbs up, a like on this video to let me know you like this content and that it was helpful to you. So let's get straight into it. So first thing we're going to do here, um, uh, first tool you're going to need, like in most of our videos we've discussed already, Keepa. If you don't have Keepa, you need to go ahead and create your own Keepa account. I think it's about $20 a month. Um, I'm probably going to put the link in the description, non-affiliated. So, but it's there for you to join. So let's go straight into it. And also you need to know how to read Keepa and understand it to be able to find this video helpful. I actually did a few videos on reading a Keepa chart on my channel. I'll probably link it in this video too. So you guys can go check that out as well. So <clears throat> let's get straight into this. First thing we're going to do, this is, this is, by the way, is my favorite way to source. Um, let's go straight to Keepa. And it's going to be kind of like a reverse source where we're looking at what's available, where are the best selling things available on Amazon. And then we're going to backtrack and look to see which websites they're being sold at on for a discount. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is once you're on Keepa, go ahead and go to the data option here. And you want to go to, um, where is it? Product finder, product finder is our best friend here. So, all right. So remember to focus on this video is backpacks. This is how I do it. And I recommend you guys try this and you could use this method for multiple different types of products. First thing we're going to do here is, um, scroll down. We're going to look for the field. No, not field, um, the type field, the type field right here. And in this field, we want to put backpacks, right? This one is going to actually separate, remove all of the types of um, products and only show us backpacks back to school. So if you think about it, this is just one way, one option, right? So another thing you might want to try to look for if you're, if it's back to school, maybe you want to try, um, I don't know, maybe let's see, they have calculators calculators so you see you could even select that anyway in this case we're going to focus with um backpacks right now so let's remove calculator so this is going to show us all the backpacks but before we even continue right now you could see here is polling 1 million eight hundred thousand products it's too much we need to narrow this down so the first thing we can do the next thing we could do is probably filter our sales rank down to let's say um we don't want to see anything that has a sell rank that's above a hundred thousand right you choose what you want me generally i don't like to sell things that are a hundred thousand unless the profit is a lot right so in this case let's just you know set it at a hundred thousand for now and if we need to readjust it we'll readjust it so um once we do that, we should see our products go down to 35,000, which is still a lot. Um, but I think we're good here. We're good here. So this is we could leave it here and just find products for now. And then we'll continue filtering. I like to filter more down once we get to this field. Right. So here um, you can see a couple mislabeled products here. These are probably mislabeled. Whoever created the listing, then put them in the right listing but you can see type backpack so we're gonna see mostly backpacks here right but since we have so much products we're only able to see up to ten thousand, right this is what is displaying so we can cut this down to products that are we could cut try and cut down all the products that are irrelevant that are not needed to be here one thing i like to do when i'm sourcing is remove products like these 
where you see on the Amazon field is zero, right? That means Amazon 90 days out of stock, Amazon was out of stock 0% of the time. And we don't want those products because it's a waste of time, right? So you can see here, the graph is showing that Amazon was on this listing the whole entire time. All of these that say zero, Amazon 90 days out of stock. So basically the next thing I like to do is remove all the listings that Amazon is selling heavily on. And we could do that with this field right here, just simply set this to greater than or equal you could set it to 100 amazon out of stock 100 percent of the time or if you want to see some listings because some listings amazon isn't on there a lot so they might be on there maybe like you know 10 percent of the time so we could put um 90 percent and above where amazon is out of stock about 90 percent of the time if you want you could do 100 but let's just go ahead for this example, I'm going to set it to 90% and more. Amazon's been out of stock for the last 90 days, three months. So right automatically, you can see now we're still, we still have a lot of products to go through and we could continue narrowing this down, right? The next thing I like to do is um, on the fields here, the current let me see no the average 90 days new offer count right here and by the way these fields i'm showing you that i've already pre-configured them to show up in the front view where i'm at right now so if your page doesn't look like this you're literally going to have to search for these fields that i have and try to adjust them the way i have them or the way you like them so and you could simply do that by looking for them and grabbing and dragging them to exactly where you want it to be so you could have a the view that you want whenever you open or do a search so you don't have to go scrolling looking everywhere for these options that i'm showing you guys right so the next thing we could do here once we've removed the listings that Amazon is out of stock, the next thing I like to do is the offer count. Um, I like to set it um, to filter it with the 90 days um, seller count. So basically this field is going to, once we modify it, we're going to be filtering how much sellers are on the listings that we want to view. So if you don't know, um, generally, most sellers we like to stay away from products that have just one seller on there because there's a good chance that might be a private label selling product which we cannot list on or else we get in trouble or you know for some reason you know yeah most likely that's the number one reason why we don't want to list on listings with one seller that's not the case all the time but most of the time that is the case so just to save some time we're gonna filter out i like to do at least four sellers right last 90 days i want to see at least four or more sellers therefore there's these products are going to be the products where that has multiple sellers on them therefore fba approvable right multiple sellers are selling on a product meaning you know if and they're not getting in trouble meaning chances are we're not going to get in trouble listing on on listings that have multiple sellers because you know they're already other sellers on there so um let's go ahead and do choose greater than and we're going to set the value to four so automatically that's going to remove all those listings now we're down to 763 products doable to go through right so we've already cut out all the bs products that has amazon selling on them and the the products that are have potential of being private label products so now this is what we're looking at um and you can see here, these are good options. I mean, in this case, this is not a good option. It's okay, but at the same time, there's a high influx of sellers. But as you can see, the BSR, this green line here, is going very low, meaning this has dropped in sales rank. And dropping in sales rank means that the seller, the this listing has increased in sales a lot a lot of sales are taking place on the listing that has a low sales rank so as you can see you can measure that based on the last 
um, let's do three months, last three months, you can see this green line going down. Therefore, the sales volume on this listing is definitely increased. But the downside to this listing is that the sellers on it has also increased. So you have to be, be careful, right? In most scenarios, I'll stay away from this. But in this case, since it's really hot, as you can see, these the pink line here is the buy box. When it looks like this, when it's up and down a lot, that means it's rotating through multiple sellers. Probably somebody priced really low and a few sellers priced really high. And that buy box, the pink line is the buy box, bouncing from the low sellers to the high sellers to the low sellers to the high sellers. So that means that this product here is actually selling a lot um, and it's moving, the buy box is moving up and down between sellers from that range, basically from sellers listed between um, 35 on the lower side up to sellers listed to $45, the experienced sellers, right? If you could make more money, why not? Whoever's listed at 35, hey, if it makes sense to them, it makes sense to them, right? So, um, yeah, so basically we're off to a good start here. The next thing I like to do here is generally I like to folk to, um, let's see, we could filter here with this field, the 90 days drop percentage right here. Come on, show. If you click it um, to, sh to display from positive to negative, and you could tell the negative, let's, let's change this to display. We have 700 products, let's display 1000 products. So we can see all the products on one page here. We don't have to go to multiple pages. So we have everything on one page. So, okay, so check this out, right? So we have here the 90 days drop percentage. If we filter this to go from positive, like right now, once we click it, you just keep clicking it. When we click it, is the negative that means if you click on this you're going to notice an increase in sales we're looking at the blue section down here that's what we're controlling with that filter basically when we go from negative to let's see all right so when we have a filter like this where the negative is are up top this is basically going to show us listings where the seller rank has um, not the seller rank, the bit the seller count on the listing has gone up, meaning there's been an influx, an increase in competition, right? So what I like to do is to filter it the other way, where it goes from positive, right? Positive 98, and you can see a decrease from 98 down to 70, down to 50, and so forth. And these listings basically mean that there's a decrease in seller count, therefore a decrease in um, competition right and decrease in competition means an influx in price so you c these listings up top will be the listings with low competition price is going up and great chance for you to capitalize and make some good money especially if you could do some fbm on the spot go pick it up the store and send it and enlist the fbm same day if you know your, your account doesn't do great fbm then you could send them FBA anyway, and you'll still be, you know, on a listing with low competition and a good margin because the price will be higher more, most likely, right? So let's go ahead and check some of these out. So um, one thing to keep in mind too, right? So when I have it filtered like this, um, although the 90 days has um, a lot of, what do you call it? All, all, although the 90 days have a lot of, um, you know a lot of seller count right the current when it's at one usually i mean these are good listings like for example like this one is probably something in the 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 um software itself that's not capturing the data correctly or i'm not sure why this is so blank or empty but um from what I've noticed, the graphs that look the best are usually the ones that have a double digit current number or sometimes, you know, as long as it's not one. Right. And also the 90 days are also, you know, double digits. But like, for example, something like this, where it's like 11 current, 
sellers on there and the average 90 day sellers was 95 i'm pretty sure here you're going to see a decrease see this is confusing but generally some of these listings that are like this i don't know why this happens but this isn't a bad listing either this is a very good selling listing um if you could find it i don't really sell jansport so i'm gonna avoid this for now <laughs> but if you wanted to do some research and try to find this you could um just highlight this right here and and click search uh what do you call it search google all right and try to see which site you could get this right so right here you can see this book bag what color is it gray it's currently 3480 so this is definitely not the price you want you want to look for prices that are like around halfway the price that is listed so if it's 34 you want to try to find something that's like you know if it was around 20 dollars 25 maybe you could look at that um store to see if you could decrease it to get it at the price profit that you would be profitable at 34 dollars with right so um let's just keep going so personally i don't you know if i don't really do too much jam sports so i just want to get straight to the you know the good stuff to make this video short so um not saying that jam support isn't good take your time go through them but um just looking at the graph here i like let me show you guys what i like so let's go down so this is 11 current sellers on there these with one you know it's going to give you that choppy looking graph oh no this one's actually got a decline so that's what i'm saying go through them and check some of them could be deceiving so all right so let's check this one right so this one definitely the seller count is not like what i would like it to be you have a lot of slow movement back here it just recently dropped in seller rank so it just started picking up in sales right now it's only one seller on there but what turns me off about this listing is the rotation you can see these long pauses in the second graph down below i don't like these long pauses because usually that's just one seller just eating making money while all the others are just sitting back and not getting any sales so that's usually a side effect of these type of graphs so um something i'll look at like i was looking at this actually this one is decent because although it has some pauses here it's not too bad because you see at times where it was you know it was going up you see movement you know going up and down the down means cells are coming off cells are taking place so um what intrigued me about this listing is the fact that it is going out of stock um although the belt the sales rank the green is you know it's it's not going too far it's not decreasing too heavily but the fact that the competition has dropped completely off of this listing right now and there's barely anybody in stock encouraged me to you know find it attractive so you know this is a good one you'd probably want to try to list on so if you actually go here and search on no well you could search here as well but to make it quicker you could just search um google right it'll bring you directly to the website so you see here 49 dollars um and right now let's see what the price is 68 49 68 you would have to squeeze that to make unless you could find some good discounts on the website that would work for it other than that it wouldn't work um let me see so the, this is orange we can close this one for now and over here we're looking at yeah the orange one so if we click this one all right 49 we would need to check what type of discounts are available because right now 49 i don't think that will be profitable for us we have a five percent here right um, but I think we would need, let me see if they have any store discounts. Let's see. If we go to the main page, maybe they have like a store wide discount we could use. Summer sell up to 50% off, 30% off all kids. I want some kind of code right there. So sign up and stay up to date. 
boom, 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 you'll get 15% off. So there's an opportunity right there. If we could get this 15% less than what it is. So right now it's at 49. I think this is it, the orange one right here. So if we come here, we search it through Seller Amp. Seller Amp is another software you'll want to get to do these calculations. So here, it also will tell you if I was logged in, it will tell you right here in the eligible panel if you are eligible to sell it or not. Then right. So let's just search Google to see, search Google for this and see if it comes up for a discount. So we're seeing mostly gloves. There goes the backpack right here. Um, new egg. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the price we want it at. And is this the official website? This is out has outfitted da, da, da. this is the official site, but it's not leading you directly to the product. We want the link that brings you directly to the product, right? So it doesn't look like we're going to find it here because it, it, if it was available, we would have seen it at least in the first row, you know, the first row of products here. And in this case, if you have to go digging very deep for it, chances are it's not there right that's how i generally move just to save time all right but if you got the time look deep maybe you find it some random weird website but you got to be careful right so um but anyway let's keep going so all right so the next target let's see i like this one right here 33 um sellers in the past 30 days we have a drop account drop count that's still positive meaning the offer drops is you know this one is okay all right you got the little jumpiness but like i said this is not a bad thing i've been on listings like this that, that do pretty good so uh we could you know especially here look at the green here the green is just dropping this is like come on like this is the the sales has definitely increased on this what is this this is a jan sports main campus fx backpack all right so let's see if we could find this oh and look this is another thing to take count so you see out here is super low this was around the same time last year so you can see the history that this is definitely a seasonal product that sells well during the august july times like right now is selling really well so it is a good time to get in stock because it performed very well in sales rank last year you can see it's super low and it's doing the same trend again this year so chances are it's gonna sell well but you know like test this one right it probably does sell well but i haven't been on a lot of listings that look like this in terms of seller so i would suggest testing it if you could find it at the right price and in this case it might be hard because you know for me lately it's been hard to find jan sports that are on sale maybe you know i don't know if i'm i'm looking at the right places but let's see what we find here so if we do this search google for for that one all right we have a black one you see so this is what i'm saying like they're the jan sports they're all at the same price like we can't get this at 60 to sell at 60 it doesn't make sense right these other websites don't have it this is sad this is not even a yeah that's not even a jan sports backpack right so there's another one this green tillies but even then they're still around 60 right so it's like there's no room for profit for these because they're not on sale right now right so if they were on sale yeah but right now you're not gonna make no money because you can't get them low enough right so so um another thing too you could do like if you want to take out all the jan sports you could also come here and put is none of and remove jan sports or whatever brand that you don't want to sell like if you can't sell nike you could come in there and put remove nike so let's put jan sports right jan sports isn't a bad brand but right now they don't seem to be on sale so i'm just going to remove them but because you know it's like what's the point of looking at them so let's do that really quickly so all right cool so now this is what we have go back to looking for these double digits like all right so this one has only one let's just see something right you see this is why i don't it, it's kind of weird like it's when i choose the one when the ones that have high 90 days and then current is just one it's just like a lot of bouncing around from you know these steep drops it's, it makes it hard to read i don't know if this is an ip issue going on here but it just doesn't make sense to me so that's why i like to look for the ones that have double digits all right and if you want we could even filter it here for the current make it at least let's say three sellers or more for current all right 
no we, we need to do greater than all right so let's do that so that way we remove these listings that have that weird graph pattern so look at that we still have 600 products to look, go through um all right cool so let's keep going so okay so we already checked this one this one is 13 got three current 24 got eight current i feel like this one would be a good look at this beautiful look at the seller drop here going down and what happens when the seller competition goes down our price also goes up where can we find this at this is a burgundy one let's go ahead and search google no i mean <laughs> let's search yeah google here and see what we find so they have the black one available current price is around 63.50 is going up right now because the sell account is dropping so the price is going up on average is about 53 but you know for the hot for this um school season is going to most likely be selling around that 60 price if we do a whole year we could see the trend from last year probably if it was listed last year so it's only got 305 days so it hasn't been long enough to get last year's data but i'm pretty sure it, if it was available around this time last year you would see a deep drop in the bsr the best seller rank right so in this case 42 at kohl's pro different color not the same color but it's here on kohl's for 42 if we apply kohl's cash right now there's a deal going on every 50 dollars you spend you get 10 dollars in cash back from the website and, and store credit so that'll be a great way to bring down the price from 42 to probably like what 50 10 dollars so it'll probably be around 32 or so per unit because of that store credit that cash back coming back so it's a really good discount right now but the thing is we don't have the color that we saw on the listing but check this out that's not it right there because what we can do right is check the variations if we come here check the variations what other colors do they have in this that might work for us all right here they only got the red ones and the black one right and you get a good little summary you can see here this red one this black one is a huge increase in seller count but there's also an influx in the price because guess what it's freaking back to school man so it's like even though uh competition is increasing these things are still holding up on price like usually when competition increases on a listing the price tanks but in this case the price isn't tanking because they're selling so well that the price isn't tanking so it's like even though the increase the competition increase here this will still be okay to jump onto for now because you know it's like especially if you're going to do fbm so you could get in and out quick and not risk it tanking because of the influx of sellers but yeah the thing is we'll need to find this at the correct price right so we could do um well we actually searched this one already if we just go back to our google search they have 57 on hibbit 59 here 20 percent off right so city beach so 60 dollars plus 20 percent off and maybe they even have stored um with cash back or so right so um promo exclusion ah so see this one is not included in their promo so that 20 percent off probably wouldn't work with it probably because it's nike it's a hot selling product and they know if they did that promotion for it they would have been sold out probably day one so and they backed out all right so um let's see so this specific one mm, I'm not seeing it All right so this one it would only make sense with that Kohl's price right now at 42 plus you know that 10 cash back um, thing uh, sell that they got promotion that they have it'll make sense it'll drop it low enough to around 30 33 under 40 where you know selling that 60 would probably get a good little spread on there but yeah they only got this color available so sadly we're probably gonna have to pass for now or just throw this onto a watch list maybe next year you could watch it and if you know knowing the history it has you know you could get if it goes on sale next year you could probably get it ahead of time before it sells out you know for back to school season all right so 
anyway so that one didn't work we have you we could just keep moving on just keep going on here and see what's the next one so here this one looks pretty good i love this graph look at the seller countdown here you could definitely see there's great movement here you can see here the price is starting to, the um, bsr green graph is starting to go down thus that means the sales sales is increasing is selling more and more as it goes down and guess what the price is going up because there's a decrease in seller count increase in sales volume and because of the decrease in competition and increase in sales volume the price is going up now so if we could find this Oh, one more thing to check if we go to one whole year we could see the replication of last year this was selling at around 80 to 90 dollars last year around school season so we could come and we're kind of seeing the same pattern here right now so if we could find this locally run to the store tomorrow pick it up especially at the right price let's see what the price is for these let's see hopefully they give us the same color too let's try copying the whole thing and search google maybe that'll bring up the same exact color um but you can see look at here 59.39 bed bath and beyond i thought they went out of business but yeah 59.39 that's not bad like um especially if they're selling for 80 or so and they probably have more discounts gift cards or so but the only thing is the color the color is not what we're we're looking for this color right here so i think it has the does it have the pink straps let's see it's got 10 10 straps right so it's all 10 with the red logo so it's definitely not this it's looking like this but that's part of the listing that we're on on amazon so right here 90 dollars on their website so that wouldn't work unless they had a sale or a coupon that we could use this one is on amazon as well so that wouldn't work so the only place it looked like it would work is bed bath and beyond which appears to have a sale for this brand look what we're about to do here check this out we're gonna reverse this right now so even though we don't have the color we could still search this brand right we could still search what other products in this brand is selling well that is probably available on this website simply by going here back to our chart here right since we can't find this color if we simply just click the brand name guess what it's gonna do bam it shows us all of this well i don't know oh it's because we filtered out let's remove this jam sports out of here but anyway <laughs> let's reload it all right so now we're only going to see this specific brand all of the book bags with our filters currently applied so these already um fall into our um criteria that we set up so that's already good now all we have to do we just need to look for the ones that have a good keeper we just check this one we couldn't find that color and just basically play match um just try to match it with whatever you see on the website see if you find some look at this sign up and get 20 percent off that's already one additional discount right there on top of that so if we come here okay we can see that they have the pink option i think i just saw the pink option here right isn't it this one no or am i tripping i'm probably tripping uh this one no this looks like it peach pink peach pink doesn't look too bad this one has not too much rotation and there is fair rotation bsr is going down so this is something that i could take a chance on maybe like you know not too heavy on it but this would be a good one we could test especially if you've never sold it before and if you get a good feel for it this is 59.39 going for 63 is it the same thing what's the size it says one size here i'm guessing over here they're all just one size all of the same size right so and we have cash back available so we have lots of discounts available that we could use so if we add this to the cart we can see so they have pink oh well, they got a whole bunch of different colors here so we could literally come here and just go through all the options here what they have available here and match them back to our list all right so much options 
and so much time so honestly sourcing is a time you need time man sourcing you got to put time into this like if i was to go through all of these this would be like a cool four hour long video but since we don't have the time for that i'm just gonna give you guys you know the the lob you know just show you guys the way and you, you guys could continue from where we left off here on your own look at all these options man like come on bro look at the graph on this beautiful movement you got a uh, freaking buy box the whole 90 days and then look at this just jump in and we expand this longer it's got a full history you can see this is a very reliable listing because it has a long history so it's not going anywhere anytime soon so if you could find this this is around 64 it's all about finding them at the right price and the right sale all right so you just have to be very careful looking through these so i think this one is definitely a website that i would go through take my time and go through and um apparently this brand seems to sell very well so i could go through multiple of these try to get it at the, at the right price here this one was um i think it was selling for about let's see if we could find it again it was this pink one right here i think i see there's this one right here all right this is peach pink it seems like there's two listings and i think both of them says one size or is this this is but yeah there's two listings actually for this one which isn't bad right you, if you're doing fbm you could probably hop on both to see which sells better so one of them is selling 75 and on this listing they're selling for 73 so about the same are they exactly the same looks like the logo on here might be a little bit bigger so this yeah this logo seems to be bigger than this one so we would have to take some discretion on this one and see based on bed bath and beyond the logo is smaller so i would say it matches this one more at 60 dollars it's probably not profitable but we could always look for right look look at this up 7.2 percent cash back so you have cash back websites we could use i generally would probably use this one since it's 10 percent probably the highest um be frugal is seven is up to 7.5 so look at this 2.8 for other and 7.2 for club old membership so therefore it's actually this two percent and um rakuten is what two percent so it retail me not got the highest cash back so that's an additional ten percent and if there's any gift cards we would just search for that by going to card bear let's see if we go to card bear card bear and see if we could find that card bear let's look for um what is it called bed bath and beyond bed bath and ooh, 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 15 percent gift cards for oh wait hold on i don't know this website i've never bought from it i don't know if it's really good or not test it out if you want but me personally i like to use um gcx I'm very comfortable with that and card cash. Extremely comfortable with those, right? Even though they don't offer the best cash back right now for this store. But um yeah, this is GCX cash back. I've never seen that before. Oh, I think you get okay, you probably buy the gift card in full and then you probably get five percent cash back after buying it. I think that's what that is but um yeah so that's just one option one book bag and like i said come on like even if you don't feel comfortable with these there's lots of other options like if you if you don't feel comfortable buying off of bed bath and beyond they had the whole bankruptcy thing i'm like they're supposed to be out of business right now but what's going on but anyway um we could just literally just go back or just remove this brand here and it's gonna bring you right back to the list we had before um this time is going to include Gian Sports still because we have put that back. But anyway, so yeah, we, we can still keep going through here. Um, me personally, I focus a lot on Nike, so I know the Nike bags really well. 
and if you come here if you just click on the brand tool you can see it's going to filter all the nike bags and right here you got a whole list of straight nike if you could sell nike bro i promise you guarantee you most like freaking every with this filters i have filled in i have selected for this video majority of these are selling right and i know right now especially this weekend today and tomorrow they have a whole bunch of nike sales going on um, especially on these bags I'm not sure about next week it might still be effective but especially right now like go through this listing man go through all of these and look look at look at the graphs on these man look at this you look at the seller movement you know you got a very low BSR if you they have lots of days so you can see the history around um, July right of 2023 you can see how low the bsr goes each year around july um this year 2024 this was last in 2022 of july august you can see the super low green drop right here this little this extreme this dip is the bsr going down close to zero meaning the increase in sales and you can see here there's a huge increase in price because of the demand and supply and all that so yo go out you know hey right now like let me show you what i'm talking about with these nike bags like if you go let me see like i like these hayward backpacks they be selling pretty good these Brasilia bags be selling good. These right here, these mesh ones be selling good. Pretty much all of these, right? So if you just click on them, pull up, um, you know, just highlight this right here and search Google for it. All right, you don't see it. They don't sell. Look at that, 35, right? And on top of that, it's going up in sales at 56 bucks, man. If you sell Nike, bro, come on. You got to be on these listings, bro. Well, anyway, but yeah, you can see that they don't sell right now. 35 multiple different websites you could pick them up and pick them up at. And we're not even including local pickups. If you go to the store, they probably even look cheaper if you're doing RA. So, hey, basically, this is the footprint, man. I'm giving you the sauce. If you guys, you know, want to go out and make some money for this back to school season and, um, you pretty much got the sauce right so the last advice i'm gonna give you guys like i said earlier back to school it's not just backpacks you can come here and just filter this again as well if we don't want to search backpacks but keep the same criterias we could literally remove backpack and let's say we want to search calculators right for the type field type in calculators remove backpacks and apply oh look no results right so it not based with the cal is because we have Nike selected. That's why I said we got to remove Nike. So it's going to bring us back to here. Let's just remove Nike. All right. And now we have 119 results. Right. So let's run the search again. And here you go. These are all the calculators selling right now. You can click on here. All right. Bam. 164. I mean, good luck finding this. Sheesh. Freaking 160. Look at the sales rank. It's dropping. I mean, the offer count recently just dropped. Like, boom. It went from 26 down to 12 or so. Uh, a little sharp, too. I don't know if that's an IP complaint situation. I hope not. But, hey. Yeah, but, you know, it's like you could do this with multiple. Like, this 130. This seems to have a lot of competition most of the time. So, yeah. You could keep doing this. You could do this with, let's say, we want to change this instead of do calculators. We want to search shoes. And bam. Because the shoes are good sellers too for back to school. We could search shoes. We could search some shoes as well. Let it load a little bit. Of course, there's going to be a lot more options to come up for shoes. Shoes is more popular than calculators. And bam, another whole list to go through again guys come on man but anyway i think i'm gonna end it here i think i gave you guys enough knowledge to actually go and find some money for these back to school products so yeah i mean after that once you pull the list all you're really doing is checking the keeper graph right look at this decrease heavy this is crazy if you could stock up on this right now look how low the offer count has dropped right and the selling rank is still, you know, it's quite low. It's hit around fifteen to 20,000. That's pretty low. We could get a bigger field, a graph to see 
exactly how low the competition is on this right now and all you got to do is really just highlight this and search it on Google or you could do the whole thing to include the color as well but just search on Google for it and look for it you know the green is on sale you feel me 44 with Nike make sure you check in the picture too and make sure it matches the name of what you're seeing here right of this shoe so you can see here I don't think oh no this side it matches it says Nike zoom at the bottom on the heel area so I don't think this is exact match because I think this one right here would be it because it has the little writing down here on the heel area toe area but the price is not on sale right now so I mean at the end of the day this is just one product you feel me this no this is not it this is just one but I mean just good doing multiple searches going through different websites I'm pretty sure you might be able to find it discount on discount somewhere and if not just move on or add it to your list to come back for for it again in the future especially if you do see it on a website but it's not on sale currently you can add it to your list check it back check back on it in the future and hopefully it's at the price that you want it but yeah that's pretty much it guys you got home all these products more shoes right here you can see the price tank go um the off count dropping on all of these because of how we organized it drop in competition increase in sales and these are the products you really want to be focused on so you could maximize your profits and make as much money as possible so we could all get this money and get rich together so anyway guys this is about it man i think i'm gonna stop here i think i spread enough knowledge is you know this video is pretty long by now so without further ado guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um give me a thumbs up if you found this very knowledgeable if you learned something and sub to the channel stick around for more content and without further ado guys be easy, be breezy, and peace out.